Hi guys, my name is Jason. I'm a wellness consultant here at Prisco Hot Tubs and I'm going to show you uh, the chemicals that you're getting in your chemical kit and how to use them. The first thing we're going to talk about are your five-way test strips. Your five-way test strips test for five things. They test for chlorine, bromine on your top two levels. They test for alkalinity, pH, and hardness. On this test strip, all of these bottles will affect this test strip. The first chemical that we're gonna talk about is chlorine concentrated granules. You shock your hot tub with chlorine. Based on the size of your hot tub is how much chlorine you're putting in. So if you have a smaller hot tub that's two, three, or four person, I would add one cap to your filter area to shock your hot tub. If you have a larger hot tub, that's a five, six, or seven person hot tub, I would be using two capfuls of chlorine concentrated into your filter area with the jets running for 15 minutes to shock your hot tub. The next two chemicals we're gonna talk about are brother and sister. They're pH alkalinity up and pH alkalinity down. When you wanna adjust your pH and alkalinity, it's basically one cap moves it one shade on your test strip for you. Some towns waters are stubborn and they might need an extra additional cap. Go slowly in increments till you see your achieved desired range. The next chemical we're going to talk about today is your instant filter cleaner. You want to use your instant filter cleaner to clean your filters and you want to give it a light spraying and make sure when you're washing the filter that you're removing all the suds because this is soap going on your filter and if you do not remove it all, you will be putting soap back into your hot tub. The next chemical we're going to talk about is your stain and scale control. Your stain and scale control uh, lowers your metals and your calcium on your hardness line. You want to use your stain and scale control when you first get your hot tub and based on how hard your hardness is on your test strip is how much you put in on your bottle. For an example, if your hardness is coming up between 150 and 250, I would put in one third of the bottle. If the hardness is coming up between 250 and 450, I would put in half of the bottle. And if the hardness is coming up between 450 and 800 parts per million, you want to use basically the whole entire bottle. And the final chemical we're going to talk about today is your defoamer. Defoamer removes soap from your hot tub. Um, to use defoamer, you basically open up the cap, stand in front of your hot tub, and you give it a quick splash like this. Within 30 seconds to one minute, all the soap in the foam will disappear from your hot tub. When that happens, turn the jets off, let your hot tub circulate overnight, and the next day, remove your filters, wash the defoamer and the soap off, and now the soap is out of your hot tub. What causes the soap in your hot tub is actually the soap from your bathing suit. If you want to prevent soap from getting in your hot tub, you give your bathing suit a good rinse in your washing machine with no soap and fabric softener, and you will get the soap out and keep a soap-free hot tub.